Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's say that I have two points. Let's do negative two, one again. And then let's do uh, six, so negative two, one. And then let's do um, six comma three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay. So last time what we talked about was to find the midpoint, or I'm sorry, to find the distance, we labeled these x and y, Justin, all right? So when we labeled them x and y, we didn't really like the x and y system, though, as, as it was sitting, because then we couldn't differentiate, JD, between the x's or the y's. So we gave them little subscripts. So we said, this is y1, that's y2. This is x1, and this is x2. So now what we want to do is, rather than finding the distance between the two points, Sarah, you can give it to her. Oh, OK. So now, if I want to find the distance between them, OK, what I want to do is be able to find the midpoint, the distance. I want to find the middle point. All right, so to do this, let's go back to a number line. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's say I have the number 4, and then I have the number 8. And I say, what is in the middle of 4 and 8? What is exactly in the middle? 6. Now you could just say, oh, well, it's 6. But how did you really, what's another way to come up with that? Well, what you could do is you could add them together and divide by Right. You could find their average between the two. So you could add 4 plus 8 divided by 2. OK? And that's essentially, ladies and gentlemen, the midpoint what we're looking exactly to do. We're trying to find the middle point. We're trying to find the middle point of our x's and of our y's. All right? So what we're going to do is I to find the middle between my x's, I'm just going to take negative 2 plus 6 and divide it by 2. Comma, find the middle between the y's. y plus 3 divided by 4. And this midpoint is going to be a point. So divided by 2, sorry. So the midpoint formula, in this case, you're going to have, um, let's see, that'd be 4, so it's going to be 2, comma, um, 2, comma, 2. But the formula you guys need to use is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. OK? So that's the formula for the midpoint formula. Very, could you?